Not Dove got them a natural shampoo. Just so fresh, you can smell it through the plastic. <laughs> What's up you guys? Welcome back to another hygiene vlog. I know you read the title, so you know where we going. We going to Dollar General. I haven't been there in so long. I think I haven't been there since I moved to Houston. So I'm a little curious to see what they have to offer and see if I'm going to be saving money or spending more money. So I'll see you there. in Dollar General and oh my god I'm so surprised I did not know that Dollar General had Shea Moisture I just bought this wait a minute how much is this this is a shampoo for $10 I'm gonna have to look back at my other video and see how much I spent this is $10 at Dollar General for some reason it was either less than 10 or it was 11 something. I don't remember, but who would have knew that Dollar General had Shea Moisture? Ooh, and they got the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Restore. Wow. They have this Purify and Care Hand Wash. Have you guys tried that? I think I want to try that. It's 450. Oh my God, Dollar General is so high. 450. I don't know. Are there even any deals? So today we're actually not on a budget. It's about whatever is needed in the house. Um, I recently bought some olive ole, or it's not olive ole, it's ole soap. And I don't like the scent. My nieces are using it, but I'm not using it because I don't like it. So I'm gonna try to find, I think, it, I think this is the, the Shea Moisture, I believe, is the one that I actually um, like, I think. And this is $6 for six bars. They got my ivory here, which is good. Oh, they got the big one and the small one. So what's the difference? What's this one? Oh, I only got one more. They want $4 for that and they want a dollar twenty-five for this one. I'm gonna go for the dollar twenty-five. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the dollar twenty-five. Okay, I see I, they have the jerkins here for six. 50. That's a big bottle. I haven't been here in so long that I have not a clue um, what I'm looking for, what I want to go with. Oh, they do have my set of I'm good on cleanser, but I can use. What is this? How many ounces is this? This is the moisturizing cream, good for. Dry and sensitive skin. Ooh, it's almond oil in it. I probably can't use that. I got the Andy Black Soap. Is that good? I know I, I hear that black soap is really good, but I never used Ambi. I used Ambi's uh, um, cream that's for dark spots, but I've never used their soap. So let me know down in the comments if that's 
really good. Their um, beauty products is kind of, everything is kind of mixed all in from the hair products to the body washes and the lotion. It's like kind of all together. Now, what is this? $4 renewing peel off gel mask. Would you guys trust this? Like, would you guys trust a gel mask from the dollar store? It's not a dollar, it's actually four dollars. And it's Cucumber Refresh. And it's by Freeman. Tell me if you guys ever heard of this name, Brandon, if you've used it and if you like it. Because I'm a little scared of that one. Um, I'm always looking for a moisturizer, another. I need some acetone, that's what I need. Let's see, do they have my deodorant here? No, they don't, I don't see it. I wanna try the native deodorant that you guys were recommending, but I haven't seen it in the stores yet, so I might have to just order it online. We do have, oh, this is just regular, oh, this is, they have non-acetone. Does this one have acetone? Because acetone, I think, is what removes. This is what I need. It says gel. Maybe this one is one. It says gel nails, nail polish, artificial. I wanted to try. Well, I don't want to try anything that said that look like uh, how my nails are. I've been seeing some really cute designs in the press on nails. It's been making me want to try those. So I'm supposed to be going on a nail break, a fake nail break. But this is so cute. And it's just $5. So I see that they have the got to be gel here. They have it in every kind that I use basically, but I just did a price comparison. And it's actually cheaper. Let me focus. Let me focus. This. It's cheaper at Walmart. It's $4.52 at Walmart. $4.99 at Target. Like I told y'all, I told y'all that Target be more expensive. And it's $5.50 here. No. I know I said I'm not really on a budget. I'm not. But it's the fact that it's whole, a whole uh, dollar more. It's a whole dollar more here compared to Walmart. That's why I be sticking to Walmart. What I really need is some shampoo that's good for colored hair because my hair is colored. Figure out. I need to figure out where. Oh, I think this is good for color. No, that's good for blonde. Like a sealer that's good for colored hair, dark colored hair. I remember I used to use that all the way back in the day. It says frizzy, dry, unmanageable hair. I don't know if it actually ever um, really worked. I don't know. Uh-uh, not that got pumped it up. That's for like, if you want your hair to be like frozen, which that is not the goal for me, but yes. And how much is it? It is, yeah, it's 385. Pump, pump it up. Mm-mm. No thanks. Yeah, it's interesting because this used to be $3 and now it's $4. I wonder why did they take it up a whole dollar. I wonder is this one, would this one make me itch or is this one good? I'm gonna have to spray it on me to see. Oh, and by the way, you guys, I did use this shampoo and it is really good. I know you guys hear me brag about the mask a lot, which is awesome because it softens your hair and makes it easily um to de detangle um but the shampoo is actually pretty good too so i do recommend trying the shampoo although i don't know it might be cheaper at walmart this is ten dollars so i don't know not dove got them a natural shampoo i can't they got them a 
a shaping buttercream for coils and curls. Hmm, my natural hair girls, natural curly. Have you ever tried the Dove hairline? Amplified texture? Because, oh, oh no. some of these this is 265 for 35 so I'm looking for this my friend hipped me to fabuloso apple and I can never oh here's one bottle every time I find it it's one bottle left 285 now what is this this is fabuloso multi-purpose cleaner all of it's multi-purpose What's the difference between this? This says floor, shower, stove, sink. But isn't that what the regular one does too? Isn't that what that's for too? From what I know. Or are we using it wrong? Yeah, this is for all of those surfaces too. So I don't understand what they, why they're like highlighting. You guys know I'm gonna be moving soon. So it's a lot of this that I'm gonna need while I'm here. I guess I'll pick up some other stuff that I need. So I guess that's all I see. Oh, they got my lot of body here. I don't remember how much I paid for it. It's 425 here. But anyway, I guess that's all. Let's go ahead and check out. Definitely was not a bargain, but I didn't go in here for a bargain. But I was curious to see how much stuff I could find that was a good deal. But it really was not that much, so. I don't know about Dollar Tree. But we weren't, we weren't on a budget today. I spent $36.50. That's not a budget. <laughs> not for me, a budget is like 23.50 or something. Not almost 40 bucks. And I didn't even get that much stuff. We made it back home. This is what I left with. It's my receipt. Okay, my receipt is in here. So I spent, to be exact, I spent 36.35. So, I mean, it's not as much as I expected to spend, but I don't know, I guess. So I got me these, the cotton rounds. Um, I like to use them to take nail polish or nail gel off of my nails. Um, or you can use them for your face. Um, sometimes because when I go to sleep late, I get puffy eyes. Sometimes I, uh, I put witch hazel under my eyes and I use this. So got me some more of these. Then I got this soak off. Now I don't normally get this for taking my gel off. I normally just get pure acetone, but um, reading this, it said it was, this is exactly what this is made for. And it removes gel nails and nail polish and artificial nails. So I'm gonna try this. This was, how much was this? So this was $3.50. I'm not sure how much it is in the stores. I'm gonna have to look it up. $3.50 is what I spent. Oh, and these was $1.50. Had to give me some swabs. You know, we need swabs. We're actually not supposed to use these for our ears. They're for our eyes. So, but I'm not gonna lie. I use them for both. <laughs> Areas that are hard to reach. But I don't, I only clean the rim of my ear with these. But um, yeah, they're supposed to be for your eyes, but I got these as well, $1.50. Black castor oil, which I showed you guys in my last hygiene vlog. Um, I got some more because as you guys know, I not only use it for my hair, but I've started to use it for my eyelashes because 
y'all know lash extensions what they did to me then my niece she put some velcro on her eyelash and pulled her eyelash out so i've been putting it on her lash too um so it's kind of like multi-purpose you can use it on your skin you can use it on your hair your lashes um and it, it does work i've always liked the way it make my scalp feel and you know i don't i can't tell yet if it's helping my lashes but my sister and several other people have confirmed that it definitely helps grow back lashes so we'll see about that i also got the olay soap in the shea butter fragrance because it smells better it smells a lot fresher than the one i don't know what that was that i ended up getting i thought i was buying this one but that's not what it was clearly so shea moisture not shea moisture shea butter my favorite six came in a pack it always says beauty bar they always I'm like, what do you mean beauty bars they make it sound like it's just for the face or something but for this six pack i paid i paid 650. y'all tell me if that's more than walmart because i will box it right back up so yeah this is one of my faves it's so fresh, you can smell it through the plastic. Mm. And last but not least, I got this. What is it called? The Ultimate Styling Collection Be In Control Curl Sculpting Gel. Because I have curly hair, as you can see, and I need something to rejuvenate my curls and freeze them and keep them locked. And so uh, I heard about this. It's by Curls, C U R L S. Um, and so I wanted to try it out. I got the Firm Hold. It's for wash and goes, though. So if I wet this again, I could basically put this on it and see if it's true. It's supposed to rejuvenate and bring back your curl pattern, especially sometimes you may straighten your hair and your curls don't come back as quick as they should. Well, um, you wash your hair, condition it, and you're supposed to put this on it and it's to bring it back. So, I'm excited about trying it. I didn't even smell it and I always smell stuff. Ooh, it smells like pear. It smells good. It says it has aloe leaf juice to protect and grow hair. I know that's right. Um, so yeah. This is the product that I'm most excited about because I needed something for my curls. So I normally use Eco Style Gel, but sometimes I get tired of Eco. I wanna try something new and it's gonna be this. Another thing I wanted to try that I did not buy was, uh, it was the dry shampoo. I've never tried the dry shampoo. I can't even remember the name brand or who it was by, but I was a little iffy about it. I'm just like, just wash your hair. So. You guys let me know if dry shampoo really works because I don't understand how it's supposed to help. Like, I don't, I don't get it. I was reading a bottle and it said it was a powder that you put on your scalp. Um, yeah, nothing can beat hot water. So, I don't know, y'all tell me the purpose of that and if you've used it, I want to know. Does dry shampoo really help? Does it really hold you over the way you're wanting and needing to be held over? I also got Fabuloso. I know this is a hygiene vlog, like as far as, you know, more so things for us, for the body, I mean. Um, but Fabuloso and Apple, every time I see it, I grab it because my friend she said it's everywhere. She lives in LA. We're from St. Louis. Her mom finds it at uh, at the stores in St. Louis, but I never find it out here. So when I do see it, I grab it. And this was the last one, as y'all saw in the video. So um, it's multi-purpose. You can use it all over the house. However, my friend told me that um, her family they take a cup of it and pour it in their uh, in their clothes in their laundry and it brings clothes out fresh so i started doing it and i'm like okay and it's also a disinfectant so you know with everything that's going on it helps so yeah i'm the one who snagged the last fabuloso and it's a big bottle normally when i look up on it it's in the little bitty bottle so 
so I'm happy about that. Also got Lysol wipes, but y'all don't want to see that. I think I left that in my car anyway. But I thank you guys for coming back and joining the hygiene vlog with me. Um, don't forget to drop a comment down below, like this video, and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Because there's a lot I don't know about, so I truly do learn from you guys. A lot of the items that I have is because you guys recommended it. Um, so I'm always looking for recommendations, so feel free to go ahead and drop me a comment down below. Also, you can go ahead over to my Instagram, TV, and go ahead and hit that follow button. Also, I now have my Facebook uh, page back up, so you can go over there at Darasheree, the number two. I hope that's right. But anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning back in with me. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.